Have you ever had your computer crash and you lost all the files you needed for a big project? I have. And let me tell you, it's a nightmare. But from that experience, I learned to store copies on an external hard drive or another safe location. Now that I have planned ahead, I can rest easy. In that same way, networks can be unpredictable. So a backup for the configuration of your Cisco Business Wireless CBW access point can really save the day. Planning for just in case doesn't take long, gives you security and can be a big time saver down the road. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to back up and restore the configuration of your CBW access points. Start by logging into your access point by entering the username and password. Click sign in. Navigate to advanced and then click on the primary AP tools option. Once you're on the primary AP tools page, go to the configuration management tab. Here, under the config update section, you have the option to upload and download your configuration of the CBW AP. At any point, you can export the current primary AP configuration to a text format. When saving a backup configuration, it's important to backup the most recent working configuration of the access point. To do that, simply choose the direction as Download from the drop-down menu and select HTTP as the transfer mode. Then when you click Apply, a pop-up window will appear. Click Yes to confirm that you want to download the configuration file. By default, the file is saved as a config text file in the Downloads folder of your PC. It's as simple as that. Alternatively, if you want to import a configuration from a previously saved configuration file, select Upload for the direction field. Under Transfer Mode, the options include HTTP, SFTP, FTP, and TFTP. If you select SFTP, FTP, or TFTP, then you must enter the mandatory parameters like file path, file, name, and IP address. As you can see, you also have the option to perform imports on a regular basis. To set this, you enable the schedule update toggle and then configure the frequency. The frequency options are once, hourly, weekly, or monthly. After you specify the day and time, just click apply. By default, the schedule update option is disabled on the CBW AP. For this example, I'll use the HTTP option to transfer the file. Once you click apply, a pop-up window will appear. Click browse to locate the configuration file from the downloads folder. After selecting the file, simply click open and then click yes. As you can see, the import process will start. Be patient. It takes a few minutes to upgrade the configuration. As a reminder, the import will cause all the primary capable access points in the network to reboot. When the access points come back online, the primary AP election process takes place. The primary AP comes back online with the newly imported configuration. Once the reboot process completes, go ahead and log into your access point again by entering the username and password. Click Sign In. Did you know that it is also possible to download and upload the configuration file of an individual access point or mesh extender? To do that, navigate to Monitoring and under Network Summary, click on Access Points. Here you can view the table listing the primary capable AP, primary AP, and mesh extenders in your network. Select any device from the list and scroll down the page. For this example, I've selected the Mesh Extender. Under the Tools tab, you can see the Export Config and Import Config options. To download the running configuration of the Mesh Extender, simply click the Export Config button. The configuration will get downloaded as a text file. Simple and easy. By default, the configuration file is saved to the Downloads folder of your PC. The name will show as the AP's MAC address underscore config text file. If you want to be extra safe, you can save it to an external hard drive as well. 
These export and import options are available for the primary AP, as well as all the APs associated with the primary AP. The mandatory configurations of an AP are exported. This includes information on general details, radio details, mesh extenders, mode details, ethernet bridging, and VLANs. You can use this file to restore the access point even after a factory reset. Using the import config option, you can upload the configuration file in a text format. To do this, you need to click the Browse button to locate the configuration file. Select the file, click Open, and then click Yes. Once the configuration has been applied successfully, you will see a notification in the web UI of your AP. It's important to note that non-mesh AP configuration files should not be imported to mesh deployment APs. Also, after uploading the configuration to the AP, it normally takes one to two minutes to take effect. You may notice that the LED of the AP will change from solid or blinking green to blinking amber while the configuration is being applied. It goes back to blinking green once the upload is complete. That's it. You know all you need to know to make sure your CBWAP configuration is backed up and it'll be there for a restore if needed. Now it's up to you to stay on top of it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.